Hello and welcome to the new video. If this is your first time here, my name is Hannah and today I'll be sharing with you my September TBR. So reading plans for September. Uh, last month in August, I decided to pick my books using my Harry Potter TBR game because I could not for the life of me decide what I wanted to read. This month is different. I am not going to use my game. I kind of know what books I want to read. Looking at my bookshelves and doing a catalogue for all my books recently, I have realised that I have started quite a few series and I haven't finished them. So I think for September my main goal would be to complete the series that I've started and there's one series that I want to start in September because book three is coming out at the end of September. So I want to get myself ready for that release. I have already pre-ordered that book. So I want to be in the groove <laughs> and ready for the book three to come out. Okay, so let me tell you what books I decided I want to try and read in September. So the first book that I would like to read and the first series that I'd like to complete in September is Swan Soldier Duology by T. Kingfisher and book two is What Feasts at Night. I've read book one during the amazing readathon in, in June but I didn't get a chance to read this one yet and because it's a very short book I think it's under 200 pages it's literally around 160 pages so I think it's going to be a fun read uh, this book one was kind of like a gothic horror and this one is marked as gothic horror as well the next series that I would like to complete in September is a good guide's guide to murder I have read the short novella Killjoy and book one a Good Girl's Guide to Murder in June as well during the Amazing Readathon. But I have two books left in the series, book two, Good Girl, Bad Blood, and book three, As Good as Dead. So I would like to read those by Holly Jackson and complete the series as well. I think Good Girl's Guide to Murder is released by BBC as a TV series. So I'm not watching this because I don't know how far it goes into these books and I don't want to spoil myself. Again, in book two and book three, we follow Pip uh, on her investigating adventures. And book one was super fun. It was a young adult thriller and it read very quick and I enjoyed that book a lot. So I plan to read those two as well and hopefully complete the series in September. The next series that I'd like to complete in September is <laughs> A Court of Thorns and Roses. I have one book left in the series. This is A Court of Silver Flames. As you can see, it's big. And I've read the first three books and I swallowed them whole. I really enjoyed them. Book four, the little novella that was kind of like in between, um, let's say book three and a half. <laughs> book three and a half was eh. And after reading that one, I only gave it two stars. I was not compelled to pick this one up, but I think it's about time I did that. It's a big book. So I think I have an audiobook for this. So I will see if I can listen to this one and hopefully tick that box off as well and complete another series. And just to recap, this is a fantasy romance and I believe in this book, we follow Nesta, the oldest sister of Vera. And I believe it will be a romance between Nesta and Cassian. Yes, I, th I, I think so. I don't even know if I remember the names correctly. Uh, yes, Nessa and Cassian. Yeah, so it's not too bad. I still remember bits. So yeah, in this book, I think we follow the story of Nesta and Cassian. I think this is kind of like a standalone. And people say to read this book together with another book from the Throne of Glass series. But I don't want to start another Sarah J Maas series because that series has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven 
eight books. Yeah, no, I, I am not starting another big series. So I am hopefully going to finish this in September and take off another series from my list. The next book is completely unrelated to the rest of them. And this is Jonas Bo Killing Moon. I am the biggest fan of Jonas Bo. I mean, I'm sure there are bigger fans than I am, but I am one of the biggest fans. I have read every single one of his books and I have every single one of his books as well. And this is book 13 in Harry Hall series. Harry Hall is a Norwegian detective in Oslo and each book is kind of like a standalone because we follow a different case. Harry is the person that connects the books together because we follow his personal story throughout the 13 books, his relationships with his colleagues at work, with women. So yeah, this is a book that has been sitting on my shelf for about a year now. I was given this last year for my birthday and I think it's about time to read this because I actually feel ashamed of myself <laughs> calling myself a biggest fan and not completing the series. So I would like to complete this in September. Jonas Bo reads very fast. I absolutely love his writing. So yeah, that's another book on my September TBR that has five, okay, just under 500 pages. So I have big hopes for that one. The other books that I will show you now, they are kind of optional, but I would still like to read them. The next one that I have here, it's actually a reread. And again, it's Jonas Bo. This is uh, The Kingdom. This is the story of two brothers. And I actually pre-ordered book two that is coming out in September as well. But because I've read this book when it came out, I, I wanna refresh my memory and I wanna kinda do a little recap. So I would like to reread this book in September, but as you can see, it's another chunky book. So if I don't get time, I am not going to mad, uh, be mad about it, but that's one of my hopes for September that I will, yeah, hopefully reread this book and get myself ready for book two which is Blood Ties, I believe. And that's coming out on the 26th of September. So I have a little bit of time. I have uh, three books left here on my, on my list. And these are very optional. So the books that I've shown you so far, these are my top priority. The next books that I'm going to show you, they are not priority. I will leave them for last because I would be starting another two series. But the reason that I put them in my September plans is because I have book two and book three on a pre-order and all of them come out in September. Hmm, I'm thinking the other series that actually comes out in November. So no pressure because then I have time to, if I don't read them in September, I will read them, I will roll them over to October and get myself ready for that November release. But let me tell you about the first book that I have as an option to read and start a new series. And this is a TJ Klune, the, uh, the House in the Cerulean Sea. Book two is coming out on the 12th of September and I have it on a pre-order. And yeah, so I want to read this because I have read Under the Whispering Door by TJ Klune, I think in March or May, and I absolutely loved that book. So I picked that one up as well. And since book two is coming out, I added this as an option to my September TBR. I would like to start this series and then read book two when it arrives on my doorstep. And then the last but not least, another two books in my September plans, which I don't know if I will manage to get to them because my books in September are looking thick. 
if that doesn't happen I won't be upset these are like the last option and I am talking about a new series and it is The Crowns of Neaxia by Carissa Broadbent and the book one that I have here is The Serpent and the Wings of Night and book two the Ashes and the Starkest uh, King. So these are big books. So hopefully I will manage to read them. I've heard such good things about them and people are saying that this is kind of like a Hunger Games and I always say Hunger Games is one of my favorite series ever. So of course I'm going to read something that is you know that reminds me of Hunger Games so yeah let's see we shall see if I will manage to read those if not I will roll them over to October because I have time book three is coming out in November 25th or 26th of November so I have plenty of time but yes these are my September plans wow I'm just stacking them right now and whew, let me tell you, <laughs> it's a big stack of books. If I read this, <laughs> I will be so proud of myself. Wow, that's a lot of books. So I will see, maybe I will be able to find some of them as audiobooks. But yeah, wow, that's a lot of pages. That's it. That's my reading plans for September. Let's see how well I do. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what were your thoughts on them. And if you want to let me know that you were here but you haven't got much to say, maybe leave me a snake emoji for this series. Uh, in the meantime, I thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.